Over the last few years, you've seen us tour several homes that are over $100 million. And you may be asking yourself, what is it that makes a home worth that much? The answer is simple, scarcity. This home is one of five Ski and Scout properties located on the legendary Aspen Mound in arguably one of the most exclusive ski towns in the world, Aspen, Colorado. It is situated on a 1.4 acre lot with 300 feet of ski frontage spanning over 14,000 square feet, which can never be reproduced in this location. Over 40 years of history, this home has hosted foreign dignitaries, U.S. presidents, and a very long list of celebrities. It is now on the market for $100 million, and with that price tag, it is the most expensive home for sale in the state of Colorado. And now, let's begin. entry of this property is really unique. House is built on this hillside and it's quite elevated from the street level. And to solve that problem, they built this standalone elevator that takes you to the first floor of this property. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. You take the steps, enter the key code, get in the elevator, and it actually brings you up to the bridge. This is where you get your first glimpse of this amazing property. That's your elevator landing. And we're on a bridge right now that connects us to the entry of this property. Pretty crazy. This is easily the most unique and crazy entry to a home we've ever seen on this channel. Couldn't agree more. And look at our surroundings here. House blends in seamlessly with the landscape. We have pine and aspen trees. And this is one of the only locations on the exterior of this property where you can take a look at the entire estate stack stone, we have siding on the top floor. This section that cantilevers above the entry is the primary suite balcony that we will see later in the tour. And coming this way, we have a walkway on my left-hand side connecting all the bedrooms on this level, glass panes, and these double doors open up to the grand foyer. This entry is very impressive, double high ceilings, Woodwork here looks impeccable, so timeless. We have this gorgeous chandelier right in the center and your formal seating area. Now, before we continue our tour, I wanna to talk about the specs of this property. It features 10 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, 14,154 square feet of interior space, built on a 1.4 acre lot, on the market for $100 million, once in a lifetime offering. And I wanna give big thanks to the listing agent, Stephen Shane and his team for giving us the honor to tour their amazing listing. I'm really excited for this tour. Yeah, this is our first time in Aspen. Uh, if you haven't heard of Aspen before, just go ahead and Google it. This is probably one of the most exclusive resorts in the world. And I think the real estate matches that. Just the list of billionaires that live here alone is, is staggering. Yeah, and the other day we passed by the airport and there were a couple hundred private jets just sitting on the runway. Uh, that just kind of shows you the amount of wealth concentration we have in this area. It's pretty staggering. Yeah, not even, not even just regular private jets, all like Gulfstream 15 yes. to $20 million jets. Yes, and this entry definitely sets a great tone for the rest of the house. Again, I love the woodwork. Above us, we have this balcony overlooking the entry. And on that level, we have another seating area and a piano. We also have these double doors opening up to a guest suite with its own bathroom. And coming back to this part of the entry, we have a door here opening up to the first office. Built-in desk setup, open shelving, leather-wrapped wall panels, coffered ceiling. We have a seating area around the corner. And this room also comes with a full bathroom. Now, let's go back to the entry. This entry also opens up to the guest level, which consists of two floors, and we will see that part later in the tour. And again, beautiful entry that really sets the tone for the rest of the house.
this is the top floor of this property where we have the main entertainment spaces, kitchen, which you have an easy access here, and the primary bedroom suite. Now, on this hallway, we have picture windows facing the backyard and the amazing views, stacked stone columns, which create amazing architectural continuity with the exterior. And on this hallway, we have beautiful art on display. And personally, this one is my favorite. I noticed that also. Did you, uh, did you touch it? Yes, I did, and I don't know if I'm not supposed to touch it, but it's a lot of fun and it looks super cool. Yeah, it reminds me of the sculpture we saw at this house in the hills one time, uh, Collingwood. Yeah. Yes, you're right, you're right. And uh, a lot of picture windows bringing a ton of natural light. And on this side, we have the landing of the main staircase, chandelier above, and we have few openings here. This wing takes you to the primary bedroom suite, and we have this opening taking us to the seating area off of the bar. We have more picture windows here facing the amazing views of Shadow Mountain and Down Valley. And I can only imagine what it's like to sit down here during winter and enjoy these peaceful and tranquil views. Now, right on the other side, we have the bar, dual elevation, stone countertops, flat panel cabinetry. We have a door opening up to the patio off of the backyard. I really like the ceiling treatment here, additional seating on this side and this wall is actually open, allowing natural light to travel from both sides of the home. Now, before we leave this section, there's actually one more detail I wanna point out. Mikey, can we pan up? I really like this stained glass coffered ceiling, which gives so much character to the space. Same hardwood floors continue on this side, and this is where we have the seating area, L-shaped couch, furnishings look great. We have a wood-burning fireplace around the corner, TV above, vaulted ceilings, Picture windows bring in a ton of natural light, and I really like that they ran these glass panels all the way to the ridge, bringing more natural light to the space. You can actually see gondolas going up to the mountain from here, amazing views, and what's left is to open this door so we can take a look at this balcony. From here, you can see downtown Aspen, Red Mountain on the back, and this is actually my first time in Aspen, and I can totally see what all the hype is about. Yeah, this is really beautiful in the summertime. All, all of these mountain towns are, but what really justifies the price and value is seeing this in the wintertime. It, it's a totally different place. Especially in this location. Yeah, you're right next to the ski slope. You literally ski 20 seconds down to the main chairlift of one of, if not the like most exclusive mountain in the country or the world, you know? You're one of the five homes that has that access, which is pretty amazing. And these are the views that you get. Yeah, it's awesome. Now, that's it for this wing. I wanna actually take everybody back inside so we can continue our tour on this wing. We have these French doors opening up to the formal dining room. Beautiful table set up that sits eight, chandelier above, more picture windows facing the west. And we have French doors here opening up to a balcony that we will see in a bit. Now, coming back to the hallway, this door opens up to a powder room for this level, floating vanity, onyx sink, water closet on the other side, and we have this opening taking us to the kitchen. This kitchen is super modern. We have the island right in the center, natural stone countertops, waterfall edge, and above the island, we have two motorized skylights, both bringing natural light and fresh air to this space. Cabinetry looks great, running all the way to the ceiling. We have the wolf gas stove here with stainless steel backsplash, hood vent above. We have the built-ins on this side. And coming to the island, this is where your dishwasher is located, two sinks, your paneled freezer and fridge, and rest of your kitchen is on this side. A lot of upper and base cabinets, and you even have a little desk area here. Now, that's it for the kitchen, located right in the center of the top floor. And coming this way, we have more French doors opening up to the balcony, and we have these double doors opening up to the office. This is another spacious room with vaulted ceilings, desk right in the center, these two modern chairs that I really like. If anybody knows the brands of these chairs, let us know in the comment section. Stacked stone fireplace. This is also wood burning, just like the living room. And it's just a good sized room. We have two doors opening up to the primary bedroom suite, which you're gonna see in a bit. But now I actually wanna come here, open this door so we can tour the balcony. This part of the home faces the west. Amazing views of Shadow Mountain and Down Valley. And this is your outer space on this side. You have a dining area here, opening up to your formal dining area, seating area in the center, additional seating on this side. And I'm really intrigued by this art that curves the wall. It's all hand carved. Above us, we have lattice screens bringing shade, 
heat lamps, and this balcony actually extends out and wraps all the way around the primary bedroom suite. And this is the section that I talked about at the entry of this property that cantilevers over the front door. Now that's it for the balcony. I wanna take everybody back inside so we can continue our tour with the primary bedroom suite. We have this door opening up to the bedroom, king size bed, and I really like the wall paneling on the back and these integrated side tables, ceiling mount light fixtures, drop down TV. And this is actually your first set of blackouts to kind of block the light coming into this room. And this section has a vaulted ceiling with wood paneling that goes all the way to the outside. And we have a desk set up here, a few chairs. It's just a nice cozy room. You have carpet on the floors and this is the primary bedroom itself. Now, moving on, we have this door opening up to the bathroom marble floors throughout with underfloor heating this bathroom is super spacious ton of cabinetry we have the first vanity here with the vessel sink second one on my right hand side built-in tub all stone clad it's actually a jetted tub and this bathroom is spacious enough that they placed a full-size couch here well that is a steam shower right next to you right yes this is both steam and your regular walk-in shower all marble i guess it makes sense that you have a couch right next to it after your shower, you just sit down, relax, and uh, enjoy these views. That's right. Now, another detail I wanna mention in this bathroom, we have bolted ceilings here, wood clad, and same wood cladding goes all the way to the outside. And this home was actually built in 1979, and it was remodeled in 2015. Majority of the home was remodeled in 2015, and that's why we have all these updated finishes here. Now, moving on, we have the rest of the cabinetry here. On my left-hand side, we have this door, opening up to the water closet, and you can access this room from the other side as well. Now, rest of the hallway takes us to the primary bedroom closets. We have the first one right here, second one at the end of this hallway, and that wraps our tour on this level. And now let's go see what's outside. We're gonna start our tour on the patio, built-in seating, dining area here, door opens up from the bar, and we have a staircase here going down to the lower level, and that's where you have your ski and ski out access for this property, and we're gonna show that section later in the tour. Now, coming this way, we have the steps taking us to the backyard, beautiful trees, sculptures throughout the property, and lot is around 1.4 acres. It goes quite far this direction, and you can do a lot with that space if you wanna develop it in the future. Now, we have the steps taking us to the ski run. This home, like we mentioned earlier, is one of the five ski and scout properties on Aspen Mountain, and this one actually has the biggest ski access with over 300 feet. Down below is the Silver Queen Gondola, Little Nell Ski Run, I mean, this is amazing. And although your property ends right here, this is really your backyard. And what a backyard this is. Aspen Snowmass is a year round mountain resort offering an exciting variety of outdoor activities throughout the seasons. In the summer, you can hike, bike, and even ride the gondola up the summit to take in the gorgeous panoramic views of Aspen and the surrounding Elk Mountains. In the winter, you have over 600 acres of slopes with some of the finest snow conditions in the world. The incredible conditions and variety of terrain is what initially put Aspen on the map as a luxury destination. As you come down the mountain, the beautiful town of Aspen stretches out before you, offering a treasure trove of luxury boutique shops, restaurants, and cafes. There's so much to experience within this quaint little town. And when you consider the beauty all around us, the mountains, the trees, and the crisp fresh air, you begin to understand why some of the wealthiest people in the world gather here to vacation and to live full time. Which brings us back to this beautiful and rare estate. Whoever acquires this home will have something truly unique and the possibilities of what they're able to do with it are endless. With its 1.4 acres of land nestled on the mountain overlooking the town, this property truly encapsulates all Aspen has to offer. Guest level of this home consists of two floors. We're currently on the first floor right now. We have this entry hallway, doors open up to the screening room, two leather couches, TV on the other side, and on the hallway we have French doors opening up to the outside where we have the entry of this property. Now coming here, this is where we have the seating area. Two bay windows bring in ton of natural light. Your couch is on the left, 
dining area on the other side that sits tan, chandelier above, and we have this fireplace right in the center of the room. And on the other side of the fireplace, we have the kitchen. Two-tone cabinetry contrasts nicely. We have bar sections on each side of the fireplace extending out. You have your gas stove here, full-size fridge, built-in appliances with a warming drawer, dark stone countertops, dishwasher, sink. It's a good size kitchen. Now, around the corner, we have the first guest suite facing the west, opening up to the wraparound walkway, and it comes with a full bathroom. And at the end of this hallway, we have two more guest suites that have their own bathrooms. Now, lastly, we have this staircase here, taking us to the second floor of the guest level. We have another guest suite here. In total, guest level has seven bedrooms. This is the ski room that we're going to see later in the tour. And following the hallway, we have two more guest suites. I'm going to start our tour with this one. King size bed, desk on my left, two sliding glass doors opening up to the balcony on this side, TV here, and around the corner comes with a full bathroom. Now, going to the other side, we have another spacious guest suite, queen size bed, desk on this side, TV above, just like the other room and we have a sliding glass door here opening up to the balcony that i pointed out earlier and even from the guest level you get to enjoy these amazing views now before we exit full bathroom on this side with two sinks and a walk-in shower and coming back to the hallway we have this staircase taking you up to the top floor and over here on the landing we have this opening taking us to the ski room this room is super unique comes with a seating area. At the end of the hallway, we have the gym and come into this section, you have your sunken seating, TV, built-in lockers, mood lighting above. I mean, this home is built for a family. You have all these guest suites and the top floor. Lastly, you have your pool table here, ski racks. This is where you store your snow gear, ski gear, all that good stuff. And lastly, we have this door opening up to a hallway that leads us to the ski in, ski out access. This is one of the most important features of this property. You have a hot tub here and following this path, it takes us to the ski and ski out access. But keep in mind, this home has 300 feet of ski frontage, which means you can ski into this property from wherever you want. There's also a pathway that takes you down to the city. And I mean, this is it. You have the ski lift and gondola down below. And that's it for this property. This but of course, we're gonna spend a few more hours here so we can see this place at dusk. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanna give big thanks to the listing agent, Stephen Shane and his team for giving us the honor to tour their listing and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about this property, property link and their contact information in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.